I know I'm actually running all way behind and I forgot to open all my chat windows. That was uh that's on me. I forgot, I definitely forgot to open all the chat windows. So I didn't actually see what you said, Raxer, until I realized that Oh crap, I forgot to open my chat windows. <laughs> so that, that that one's kind of on me. Yeah. An error has been made. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not, but I found a cheese for leveling up uh, an evolving Palmo. He's actually been at this for like the last hour. Is weird. Every time I type on my keyboard, I can hear a clickety clack and I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what's generating that clickety clack while I stream. And I also forgot to open the game window on my main screen because I got big brain. 10 of 10. Brilliant move, Daniel. I got big brain. There we go. Doesn't matter, I'll look into the thing later. Hi, how you doing? So, uh, Palmo's been at this now for the last, I don't know, hour? I theoretically should just be able to give him a candy now and evolve him. Uh, somebody pointed out to me that what you can do is you can get up on top of a Pokemon Center uh, so I went there and I glided down here and I glided there and I jumped over here instead of just starting over there where we last left off and uh, If you release your Pokemon he will stay underneath you And he'll just run around in circles and since he evolves by getting steps Before you put him back in the ball. Um, I just kind of left him there for like the last hour Open volume mixer start typing Check which program. Oh, makes uh, figure out the typing sound. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually a good idea. Holy crap. I didn't think of that. That's actually very brilliant. That actually would do it. Okay. Um, Open volume mixer. Let's see what we got. Okay. I think it's brown. I think it's opera then. Because, let's see. Oprah. Yeah, okay, it's something with opera. Because uh, we're doing it on like the volume mixer itself and typing does nothing, but doing it on opera is setting it off. Uh, okay, so we know it's opera then. That sounds about right, because I had the same issue. Oh, okay, so it was something you had. Okay. All right. I think a recent update reset something. Yeah, probably did. I didn't even think to check. So, uh, Palmo should be ready to evolve probably now, because he's been at this for like a good while. So, one rare candy, give to Palmo. Yes. Um. I've been at this for like 10:30. Think I'm using it on oh my NUC. Ah, gotcha. I mean, I want to evolve them on stream, so should I just wait? <laughs> uh, give it another 10 minutes to see what happens and just go a little later in the stream. Because, like, he's right there, you know? He's just running around in circles, not wanting to evolve yet. I've been something about only works when it's leveled from a battle. No, no, I swear I, I've seen a thing where... 
they didn't uh, they just gave him a rare candy we could go uh, pull up the youtube video and watch it real quick actually uh, there there's the upper okay let's go to youtube oh my god i hate that clicking sound that's gonna totally piss me off it's definitely gonna piss me off He was, uh, yeah, the thousand steps trick. I'll just mute it because I don't have it playing right here. Turn on closed captions. Yeah, it, it was, uh, the how to easily evolve Palmo trick. Uh, jump on then send your pomo out leave them in the parking lot and yeah okay got that this guy stood there for half an hour i think he said so we theoretically should be close and the, like the most we were have to worry about is me him not listening to me Oh, level up while it's still yeah, it has to be level up while it's still out. Using XP candies or Okay, so he just has to be out still. That's it. That's all it is. He just has to be level up level up while he's still out of the ball. You, you know what, you know, I'll give him an extra, I don't know, twelve minutes. 12 minutes should be doable. How you been, Rex? What's new? You wanna join me in chat? You wanna hang out? We'll chat. I can pop into a Discord. We can we can chat. We'll entertain everybody. Talk about waffles or some shit. There we go. I'm in the streaming chat room. You you can hang out with me if you want. We're gonna go see if we can get Pomo evolved and talk about waffles. It'll be entertaining. <laughs> I'll, I'll just make the stream go a little bit later just because I want to do this. Oh, you gotta be banned quickly. Let's go! Oh no! <laughs> Let's go! Sh should I just mute the Discord channel then? <laughs> Yeah, I think the biggest uh, concern I have is, I, I don't know. Hi there. Hi, how you doing? Should I, should I mute the Discord channel? Should I be okay? Uh, or should I be okay? <laughs> Do you know what you call a black belt? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. Um. Yeah, so apparently that's all I have to do to level him up. I just have to make sure he's running around a thousand steps outside the ball level him up but he's been going hmm. since 10 30. so he should theoretically be close should yes i think like in my opinion it's already long enough um should, should i try to remember when i should i try uh, another rare candy I mean, you could save before you try and then just quickly restart so you don't waste all of them. I don't know how many you have. Uh, I get three daily because I'm redeeming postcards for my mom. Pay to win. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now he's 40. And nothing. Yeah, the only thing I remember was that I was trying to level him with those instant battle thingies yeah and then i realized that doesn't work uh so i personally just went through a battle like i gave him those smaller candies so he had like 100 oh, xp to go okay and, and then, then went a battle. then went into a battle hmm. i mean we could probably try that actually um i'll, I'll still give it no no i don't i don't want my box go away box 
Um, what we could do. Oh, wow. I have a lot of them. Okay, let's give them, let's say, 21. Okay, we can go definitely go over 21. Uh, 29. Ah, fuck. Went too high. <laughs> like, I don't mind giving them a little too many. You know what I mean? Um... Because it's not like they're hard to get. Hmm. Okay. Not like in the old games, where it was like you had twelve for the uh, for a whole game duration. Okay, there we are. Uh, he's at forty-three. He wants to learn discharge. Should we teach him discharge? Nah, no, we won't. So all we have to do now is take him out for a battle and there we'll go. Uh, is he at a level where he'll probably start ignoring me? Yes. But that's beside I mean, the point. <laughs> I don't think his friendship level is high enough. Yeah, I, I'm not I think... 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure that the friendship level kind of outmans the, or outprioritizes the level cap. Mm. Oh my lord. I wish there was a way to keep track of how many steps he's walked. <laughs> I was actually googling if that was possible. <laughs> yeah, it's like, is there a way we need to know? <laughs> Get on with the stream, Daniel! <laughs> I mean, you could do mathematical calculations if you think about how many steps he does every time he runs around, and then you take that times the seconds you have been waiting. Then you have an estimate. I mean, yeah, we probably could. But the problem is, he's not moving in a linear fashion. Like, he's not running around in a uh, circle nonstop like uh, they did on their streams. Mine's doing, like, s s like figure eights and shit like that. So that messes up the variables. That's why I said estimate. We're not doing simulations here, it doesn't matter. We can go 100, 200, <laughs> minus, plus, minus. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I, I lost sight of him for a moment. I was like, oh no, where'd he go? <laughs> I don't want to walk no more. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> I'm a fat mouse. He's probably, going... <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to the store clerk and be like, uh, one drink, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello, Pokemon. I heard you had some lemonade. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> but that just reminded me of the picture from a few years ago. We're like, oh, Pokemon games, healthcare, free. A uh, soda <laughs> can, 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like the uh, the European pricing model for sweets and like uh, sugary things. Like, ah, a banana. One kroner. What's this? A soda. 900 kroner. <laughs> what? No, Why? I don't understand. It's actually the opposite now. I'm constantly oh, like, no. oh, I do like fruits and uh, it is healthy and it tastes good. So why not? Then I go to the store and it's like, okay, I can choose between one banana for like 23 crowns mm -hmm. or I can just eat the candy equivalent of a banana for 10 crowns like oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be unhealthy instead <laughs> come on Pomo we're all waiting for you you're holding up the stream evolve damn you I've already invested too many candies into you <laughs> like I, I could just soft reset go back to my uh, point you know what I mean but the, then I would have to wait through all of this at a later time, and I want to do it all on a stream, you know? Mm. This way everybody can go, Oh, yeah, he did it legitimately! I did, but I cheesed it. Like, I do everything in my life. <laughs> cheese is good, I mean. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a monster kind of cheese person. How about you? 
Um. Ah. I don't really enjoy cheese too much. I like melted cheese on hamburgers, for example. Oh, that's, that's good. About it. You're, you're in Norway right now, right? Or is it oh, yeah. Germany? Oh, okay, you are in Norway? Hmm. Okay, next time I come to visit, I'm making you a proper American cheeseburger. Oh, as long as it's not one of those, like, big XXLs, which pretty much just mean that you have a bun. 50 meats and then the second one listen you're gonna i'm gonna make you food and you're going to enjoy it so shut the hell up <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna stand there trying to eat it you're just standing on me <laughs> is it good <laughs> then, uh, yeah, basically, basically like i'll be there fork and knives are for weaklings use your hands this is mad lip foods <laughs> All right, he's been at it now for another seven minutes. You think we should try again? Yeah, I would say save right before. Just see if we can find a quick battle or something. Maybe it is that, maybe it's not. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to use another candy. If he's not, <laughs> uh, if he's not by 1140, I'm just going to find a battle. Mm. I got 17 <clears throat> other rare candies, so... Is it like supposed to push me out of my menu? Um, I think so. Cool. <laughs> the fuck is it? Huh? Yeah, I, 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 I did it again. I, I gave him way too many. <laughs> I'm looking at a at a guide of it again, and I don't know if this is supposed to be a pun or something, but there's like, unfortunately, there's no pedo meter. Like, huh? Oh no, no, no! I I get it, <laughs> I get it. That's actually what the step counters call a pet, uh, like a pedo meter. That's actually <laughs> it's actually a terminology. But you do know what I'm actually referring yes, to. Yes, yes, I know exactly you what you're referring to. <laughs> <sighs> yep, it's the same gone. thing with those old laptops, which have this like nub that you can use like a mouse. Mm -hmm. And their actual word is something that I'm probably not allowed to say, so I'm not gonna say it since it's not my screen. One, one second, one second. I muted the Discord. What is it? No, I've never heard that one actually. Okay, streaming is back on. Never heard oh. that term. Never heard it used. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I even heard studied it from this. LCT. I even studied. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll get off court. Oh, cry. Uh, Coradin. And. Mm. Palmo is still out. Oh, okay, he just kept getting caught behind the table. And we will slowly walk out into an open field. And we will just go look for a Pokemon. And we will go beat him up. Okay, where are we? Where are the Pokemon? I, I hear them. Okay, there's some stuff up there. We can go beat them up. How's that, Palmo? Oh, it's a clef key. I didn't realize he was in Pokemon Scarlet. There you go. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Just by the off chance, you don't have one of those, like, stop evolving uh, stones on him, right? No, he has, um, uh, punching whatever on it. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
Homo, you're not supposed to keep failing like this. You're supposed to knock something out. That's how this is supposed to work, okay? Look, okay. Attacking like that doesn't uh, evolve him. That I know for sure. You have to actually... Well, it might work with candies. I'm not sure about the candies, but uh, doing battles like that doesn't work. You actually have to like start a proper uh, combat. Oh, uh, it, it won't work like that? Mm. Uh, okay. Bag. We'll try it again. Um... <laughs> like, another 50 like, candies down the drain <laughs> yeah yeah another another 50 candies down the drain okay we'll give them eight no i didn't want to mm. <laughs> it's like i can hear what's going to happen but i can't see it yet the stream has like a 10 second delay today okay 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 you're out. We have that. Uh, you know, I'm also gonna heal you, you know, just to be safe. We'll try this again. Like, by the end of this, okay? He's probably gonna be uber strong. Like, way stronger than all of the other Pokemon I have. <laughs> How many gyms did you do yet? Three. Why? Why is your Pomo <laughs> yeah, already level 100? Like, <laughs> Yeah, level 50 Palmo or something. <laughs> that was actually my main issue about the game. Like, you start the game and like, oh yeah, go on your own adventure, do whatever you want to do. But then the game is like, ah, but your Pokemon will not listen to you if you are, didn't do this in that gym. Yeah. So I constantly had to chase after the gyms and every time I completed a gym, it was like, yeah, your Pokemon can now go up to level 40. Like, yeah, mine is already 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, just because I've been trying to evolve Palmo, he is now level 47. Like, he probably could take all the other gyms at this point with no problem, and Larry's a normal type gym. Uh, there's one gym where he's instantly going to die. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, that's true. It's like most likely one of the uh, late game gyms or something. Uh, no, it was mainly just about the the type. There's a type that Palmo isn't effective against. Okay, there is I an don't ostrich. Enough about that. He should be able to take out the ostrich. He said famous last words. Oh, yeah, he has Punching Glove on, that's it. Oh, holy crap, that's bad. I mean, you can switch him out. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Mm, so, bag. I have like seven Pokedells, I'm good. Okay, this is not going according to my genius, brilliant, amazing plan here. <laughs> you had a plan? I had a plan, yes. <laughs> I had this great plan, it was amazing. It involves like, waffles and shit. Nah, uh, mm. Okay, there's a Banette. We need something he could probably take out. Maybe there's like a Metadite over there. Should we try going for him? I do not remember the types and effectiveness and stuff like that anymore. I think he was I a I just remember fighter. there's a fighting skill that Palmo eventually learns, which I have been abusing for everything. Yeah, like he can learn Mock Punch, which is amazing. Oh, uh, but you need um, an Infernape to teach it to him. Oh, uh, that's how this Palmo had it. Um, Sindre sent over a Palmo with it already on it. Mm. All right, Thunder Wave on oh, him. Check. I actually had my when I told my sister about that I was going to buy Pokemon Violet. Um, she was immediately like, "Oh yeah, tell me when you have the game. I have so many Pokemon I can give you." Like, uh, sure, yeah. 
And then the first time she came over, she was like, I took my Switch with me. Do you want any? And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and then she's just like, what do you need? I have everything. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I would like this and this and this and this. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I don't have enough Pokemon to actually trade with you for them. Rip. And then I fixed that quickly. So we traded everything. And then the next time we were going to meet, she was like, do you need more? I, I made more Pokemons, like Poke eggs and stuff. Just for you, and like, uh, uh, <laughs> that's a bit much. <laughs> okay, so apparently, uh, he still hasn't reached the steps. So, what I'm gonna do, because I am determined, determined to get it, I am going to mark where Larry is. And we are gonna walk there. Like the cool kids. Yeah, like the cool kids. No, Palmo, don't go to sleep. We we have training to do. <laughs> Get your butt off this ground. Come on, we're going. Oi. Oi. No, no, I don't care if you've been running around for like 40 minutes. We got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get him up! Oh no! <laughs> this reminded me about... Uh, I was watching a video about a guy trying to catwalk for VR. Like it's a... The... Oh, what's it called? A pentagon shape. And it's used so you can physically walk and it's gonna translate into your game. And I was always like, oh, that sounds so cool. I want one of those when I, like, have the place for it and the money for it. And then I was like, but there's a major downside. I've been exerting myself. I've been running so much. And in-game, it equivalents to, like, three steps. Oof. And then he actually showed how much he was running compared to how far he got in-game. I was like, doesn't look this bad. But now let's switch to Skyrim. Now you see how bad it is. I, I'm being followed by a bombardier, by the way. And it just like, it wants to pick a fight with me. And me and Palmer are just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, do you see this? Yeah, now like, I see it. Yeah, it's like me and him now, we're training. But this guy over here is like, no, 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 we're, we're going. Come on. <laughs> ah, learn crap. the sassy walk. <laughs> yeah, it's learn the sassy walk. All right, fine. I'll thunder wave you. You want to go, bird? We'll go. I'm up. You teleported on top of the rock. Interesting. I want to teach a thunder punch. This would be so much easier. solution i have a solution i have a solution i just realized now i don't have to use the da -da 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 sound thingy because i have my own ah! <laughs> <laughs> if i revive him he should still be there uh after we get out hopefully yeah, if you revive him mid-battle, he's also still gonna get XP from that battle. Oh, this is so annoying. Like, I want to get him to fall. Wow, this bird actually has some annoying moves. And it has priority. I don't understand why this is a thing. Uh, speed. Let's see if we can find this. Hmm. 23. 
Your speed has nothing on my quick attack. No, 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 stop. Oh, damn it, you're supposed to fuck. <sighs> he ran back into his ball. Dum dum da. That starts the whole damn thing over again. I feel okay. like this is going to end up being one of those things I have to do off stream. And that's going to make it so annoying. So what do you mean start it over again? Oh, the thousand steps starts over again. And let's see, it uh, goes back and do all oh, your lineup. Mm, not as far as I, I know. Because, like, there's no accurate way to track it. Everybody says, oh, has been saying that, uh, if it comes out, it has to, it, it just starts over. Can, can you, uh, check, uh, can you Google it to make sure for me? Yeah. Um. Come on, little guy, we're gonna have a light jog to Larry's place. I can hear his tiny little feet. Right, we're not going to climb the mountain there. And we're not gonna get on God oh, Koraiden. But if I find anything he could probably beat up, we're gonna take it. Oh wait, is that a white for baby? Apparently the step counter only counts if you summon him with the ZR. Like pressing ZR and not when you press R. Oh, do they change that? Well, this post is from one year ago, so I'm not sure, but... There's, um... Does it say mm. if the uh, step counter resets or not? The guy mentions that it should be done in one session, but then he also says that there is only a chance that the uh, uh, steps will be reset and it's only something he has read. It's not something that's actually confirmed. Okay. So nobody knows. Uh, now one guy says that he confirms it does not reset when he goes back into the Pokeball. Okay. Uh, and then another guy immediately replied, yes, it does. <laughs> I, I wish there was some kind of confirmation on this, because this is going to get very annoying very quick, I think. Hmm. Okay, this hiker mom. Should we try to fight the hiker mom? Let's try to fight the hiker mom. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it might simply be a bug that um, when you change Palmo out from the first slot, it's gonna reset the counter. Uh, but it shouldn't reset the counter as long as it just goes back into its Pokeball. But there might be a bug from the, between those two systems where, like, it going back into its Pokeball might register as you swapping the orders. Gotcha. Oh, oh Bramble yeah. Gast is a ghost? I mean, Gast. Wow, my Palma is gonna be useless here then. 
I also just found a page with uh, like all of the patch notes since the game released and there is no patch note stating anything about steps. So they haven't changed anything when it comes to uh, steps. Step counters, yeah. Like, worst case scenario, I just do it off stream. I don't want to, but like I could, you know? Mm. There we go, we beat a piker mom. Have you been summoning him with the R button or the ZR button? I don't uh, remember which of them two does what. The R button. Because ZR brings him out for Pokemon battles. Mm. Okay. Let's see, Larry is in that direction. We're, we're just gonna jump off the cliff. <laughs> that should be enough steps. <laughs> yeah, that, that should be enough steps to get him out. <laughs> it's like the right. opposite game and when I'm playing video, sometimes when you slide down a cliff, the game is like, oh yeah, this counts as falling. And then when you <laughs> land at the end, you just got falling damage and died. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm challenged by a guy with a funny hat and goggles. Helicopter man. How dare he? Oh, wow. This is going to be suspiciously easy. I jumped off the cliff to where all the level 20s are, and so... <laughs> yeah, Palma's basically good right now. We can attack and pretty much take everything out. Like, Palma I know will have a distinct advantage uh, at the next game solely because of his fighting moves. Like, he can literally just punch something, and it will die. Because, like, he is level 48 right now. <laughs> because of all the candies we've given him. <laughs> oh, imagine if that would be a reality. I would be leveled max right now. Like all the candies I've been eating over the years. <laughs> Dude, I my, my stats would be maxed. Like <laughs> when, when I say I gotta bitch smack somebody, I actually do it. You know, I'm just like bah! <laughs> and knocked out. <laughs> All right, so I have him out with the ZR. Maybe that was just the whole thing because I've had him out with the R button. Mm. So maybe in like 20 minutes or something, he will actually, you know, be ready. Like we're going to have to go over the cliff anyway. So it's a it's a sizable walk. It's a sizable mm. amount of distance. And let's see, it's 1159 now. Uh, so by the time we get there, 20 or so minutes, as long as he doesn't get knocked out or some shit, he should be OK. Uh, you should also be able to sprint. I think only when you're using the bike or the... Yeah, the bike, essentially. Uh, you would be too fast. Yeah, it's the same with uh, Karadin. Mm. So I have to... I actually have to walk. So, we're just gonna have to walk there. It, it's a it's a peaceful journey, but you know, somebody's gotta do it. I don't know, like, I think the most annoying thing I'm gonna have to do at some point is backtrack and try to find all the Pokemon trainers I've not fought. 
I think that's gonna probably be the most annoying thing. Don't they reset after a time in this game? I, I thought they did, but every time I try to fight some, uh, it's always been, oh, I'm sorry, but here's some regular dialogue. Hmm. It would be nice if they reset. I mean, I did in... Which was the game? It was an older game. There was a game where they introduced the phone and then every, or sometimes when you beat the... Oh yeah, uh, the, uh, the original gold and silver. You could just go back, oh, they'd call you and be like, oh, I'm ready for a rematch, let's do this. Nah. And then you go back and you kick their ass again. <laughs> then in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I believe, uh, mm. there was a specific area where Pokemon battles reset every single day. Oh, I was nice. farming that spot for money. I was changing the date and time of my DS just to get the... Like the next day going and then I fought those guys again and kept on going and kept on going and then I ended up buying 999 out of every Pokeball. That is usually the things I tend to do with most games. If I figure out like, oh, I can get a lot of money if I do this and that. Well, that's going to be my next 10 hours. Uh, my standard policy for games is if there are abilities that allow you to get more experience early in the game, get those first. Ah, uh, I did that as well. Like, like in the older day, uh, yeah. Like the, the modern Tomb Raider games, for example, right? They all have uh, perks and abilities like that. And mm. by the end of the game, I have now unlocked everything where instead, if I didn't pick those, I'd be waiting. Mm. I also remember in earlier Pokemon games where you didn't have shared XP yet. You got like the item that you could give the other Pokemon and then they would get the shared XP from every battle. Mm -hmm. I luckily had both versions of the game, like Pearl and Diamond, for example. Yeah. So I had one of the games, got the item, gave it to the main game, reset the second game, and then did this over and over until I had five of those items. So I initially got to level all of the Pokemons every single battle. Nice. Yeah. Right, I see a, uh, a raid spot, I guess, over in the distance. We can probably hey, give hit me that. ten seconds, and I can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Send Palma on the raid. Although, to be fair, we passed like several of them. It's just, I don't want to tackle them while I'm trying to train Palmo. Hmm. That one's a water one, you can tell by the color. Nerd, you know it by the color? <laughs> <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> oh, can't go over there, that's a cliff. I'll put Palmo back on his ball. Oh, it's actually a cliff <laughs> for the cave. And a hole. I could technically be like that the whole way, like, oh, you you goddamn nerd, you weeb, <laughs> you know this by heart, la 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 la, and then oh, like, wait, oh, no, no. Wait, what are you then? It's a dragon one, actually. It's on the map. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm I'll get a fairy type, and I'll make it a dragon, or I'll make a dragon one, and then I'll make it a fairy. You can't stop me, it's too genius. I was carrying a coin! Really? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go beat up a child and take their lunch money. Nice. This is the, uh, like, anytime you see a kid, okay, as a Pokemon trainer like this, this is clearly the gifted program 
for kids in the Pokemon world, you know? Like, ha, huh, I may be 10, but I already have my Pokemon trainer's license. Wait, wait, what kind of gifted are we talking about? I'm thinking about special aid. Uh, either. Okay. <laughs> so it was halfway right, at least. Yeah. Like in the US, I was uh, considered gifted, even though I was also in this special aid class. I couldn't say my S's mm. properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh. They, they said any time I uh, tried saying it, I would be cursing. So like I, I tried uh... to say the word jet and I said shat. Nice. And I don't know, like, I've never heard it myself. I don't remember that as a, guy, a child, but apparently that was a thing. <laughs> like, I, I did... brother of uh, Andre had the issue that he couldn't pronounce R properly, so he usually skipped it when he was talking. <laughs> and uh... yeah, you can't argue with that logic. <laughs> it makes sense. Well, there you was know? a time when he wanted to say point. In Norwegian, which uses an R. Okay. Uh, like prick, which means point. Yeah. Uh, but then he skipped the R, so instead he said pick, which means penis. That was uh, quite a nice conversation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, afterwards, I... uh, my my best friend and he even argued about like oh you can't say that you have to say the r can't you say the r I'm like yeah i know it's an r in there well why I, did you say it because you know i have an issue with r's i, I actually have an issue with norwegian r's uh and my ex didn't understand this like my, my friends did like Celia and everybody they they understand it but everybody else like uh in our family did not and so i would get flack Anytime I couldn't pronounce something right. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Your language is difficult for me. <laughs> you, should, you should just have been like, I'm sorry. Started talking like a toddler. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't speak your language that good. <laughs> hey, I don't insult you guys when you try to say teach and te uh, teach and learn using the same word. Hmm. <laughs> It's like a ladder, a ladder, or something like that. I, I again can't pronounce the R. But uh, Lara. yeah, but you guys use the same word for both instances. Where in the English dialect, you you have teacher and learn. I They're, actually the, never. Yeah, I never thought about that. I was thinking about it in my head as you were saying, like teaching. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you guys don't see me making fun of you for your dialect <laughs> issues. So why are you doing it to me, <laughs> asshats? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. As far as I know, I've never made fun of your dialect. No, no, I know you haven't. I was like, I'm inferring to all my ex's family. Mm. It's just like, guys, guys, guys. If you gotta call the pig oh, kettle black, I will do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Let me point out how you keep screwing up my language. <laughs> it reminded me about an opposite uh, conversation I had. There was a girl I was dating uh, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And when she realized that I was German, she's like, ah, oh, I usually don't like Germans. I don't like their, uh, like their language. It sounds so harsh and mean. Like, oh, suit yourself. <laughs> and then we had, like, we were working at the same place at the airport. And then there were some uh, German guests for uh, another company, which didn't know what they were supposed to do because they had no one to pick them up. Yeah. And since I'm usually the only one who talks German at that airport, uh, I go and help them if we don't have our own guests. So I started talking German to them and then just did it as normal, like talking to them as I usually would. Then I'm done talking to them, and then I go back to the girl I was dating, and she's like, You know, after I heard you talk German now, I think I'm starting to love German. It's like, huh? what? Why? What happened? No, you make it sound so nice and beautiful. Like, huh. Interesting. <laughs> I only have one grievance 
when it comes to the German language. Just one. Krankenwagen? No, it is. And you guys have <laughs> absurdly long titles for things. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, like, and then, like, like, for me, okay, like, learning a different language. Yeah, like, I hear the very long uh, titles. And then I also have to deal with the fact that I can't pronounce it. And so everybody mm. in Germany is just like speaking and I can't understand what part of the word you're saying because of how long it is. Luftwaffenfahrzeug. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's like, we're, 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 I, I get the, the first part, the Lufa, well, whatever. And then the rest <laughs> of it's just like, okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. And then like you also have to remember that there is the. Oh, what's the English word for it? The high German or whatever. Like you have the. Pretty much like the slang German that you use with your friends and whatever when you go out. And then you have the high German which you use to strangers or when you are at work. Yeah, yeah, so like you got the colloquialisms, right? And uh, colloquialisms is like slang, words that only certain people use, etc. Mm -mm. Uh, so you got that, and so you're trying to learn the language, and then people are also speaking in slang and colloquialisms and everything else, and now you're trying to figure out point a l the difference between point a and point b you know what i mean mm. you're like okay but i understand you're saying something but i need more context <laughs> that's the same issue i have with uh, norwegian swedish and danish i think i can understand danish a bit better than swedish but when we were in uh, school and had uh, norwegian classes or courses yeah. Uh, the teacher was like, well, this and that video is in Swedish, but we all understand that, right? And I was like slowly lifting my hand to like, I don't, but then everyone was like, of course we do. Then teacher was like, yeah, I didn't expect anything else. Okay, let's go play. And then I just put my hand down again. <laughs> I, I understand that feeling. I don't want to, but I understand it. It's like me and my Norwegian <laughs> language courses. It's like, okay, has everybody else gotten this? It's like, no. Okay, we're moving on. Why? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I actually did have Norwegian language courses for, I think, a year. Because, um, like, they, they mandate it uh, when you go over there, if you're coming from overseas. But mm. what my ex did not realize is that they were free and she was paying for them. Nah. So, while I was there... Uh, I only had uh, like a few because we couldn't afford them. And so we just kind of gave up on the language courses. <laughs> uh, I've had a few of those things in my bachelor's degree currently as well. Like already from the first year, the teachers were super like enthusiastic and being like, if you have questions, just ask them. We are here to teach you guys. Then like when we start asking questions, they answer it a little bit. And then if you don't understand it and ask them to like explain it differently, they're like, uh, I'm sorry, but we don't have time for this. We have a lot of stuff we have to go through. Yes. Moving on. <laughs> yes. I had that in my last course. Like I did, I like, I understood all of it. Okay. It's just, mm -hmm. he did not like how I was handling it. Uh, solely because he did not speak English. Ah. And so it was kind of reversed in that sense, you know what I mean? Where mm. I was talking, I was explaining what he wants to hear, and then he was failing me because he couldn't run it through Google Translate. <laughs> oh. And I'm just sitting here going, mm, boy. <laughs> It, you know, like the Kratos boy, like, boy. Mm. Uh, um, something similar with a friend of mine, like he does uh, cybersecurity. He's going to through a bachelor in that. Yeah. And this is the worst part. He's paying for this. He's paying 
an equivalent to ten thousand dollars per year and it's a three-year course oh that's horrible and programming even though it's cybersecurity, like he learns basic programming in the first year programming is like there are many ways of getting to the solution you don't have just one solution or there's not just one way to make the program yeah um sure there might be instances where one way is worse than the other or there is something that doesn't work as intended mm -hmm. but the question he got was like open-ended it was just the basic like okay i want you to make a basic loop that uh returns uh all of the values that are inside of this list um and then she gave like an example code like this is how it could look like but it's not done this is just a reference so you know where to start yeah then i helped him we found a different code of doing this a code that he could actually understand so he knows what is going on so he doesn't just copy paste something and then he sends it in and then he gets back a message like no this is wrong you failed like huh? why why is this wrong you're getting the list i'm doing exactly what you're asking me to do you're asking me to return the values that are in this list <clears throat> and then she's like yeah but i gave you an example code like yeah an example code like yes you're supposed to use everything of this example code like why no because i say so and then he tells me about this and like why oh. we had the exact same question in our lectures as well but the teachers were complimenting us when we did it in a different way Sometimes they, of course, said like, "Oh yeah, great job! I love that oh, you thought holy uh, shit. on your own." But this and that. Holy shit! Holy shit! A shiny! Give me five seconds. Give me a bit more. I don't see it yet. Or do I see it? Oh, I do see it. I thought they were shi actually shiny. Holy shit, we actually got a, a shiny salad it. <laughs> shiny salad? Like if it's if, if it's a female, okay? Like people are gonna be pissed because like the females only have like a 10% drop rate. Okay, we gotta look. We gotta look. We gotta go to the box, we gotta look. This takes precedence over the Palmo thing. It, it <laughs> no, it has a penis. Oh, dump, dump, oh, dump. it has a penis, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, come on, get up. But now, theoretically, you can have that one and Ditto have a picnic together. Then you should theoretically get another shiny one, which then could be a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can only hope. I was not expecting to actually, you know, get a shiny. That's actually <laughs> kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Just like, just to find one, you know what I mean? I need a new, 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 new sound on my soundboard that says nerd alert. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. Oh, the reason why I changed a lot of my initial sound effects, by the way, is I was getting flagged on YouTube for a lot of them, like the Backstreet's Back All Right thing. I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was getting copyright flagged for that and everything else. So I figured I would just go with uh, memeable audio clips that would work better. Uh, <laughs> I just cut, cut all of the songs after like three seconds. Like three seconds, one second pause. Three seconds, one second pause. I'm, I'm quite happy. Wow. Ooh, is that another one? No, I couldn't be. That, that auto flagging stuff, like fine for copyright and stuff. But I sometimes make AMVs and I do it because I enjoy it. I don't earn anything from it and I'm fine with whoever actually owns the the, the materials I use to put ads on it and earn money that way. Mm -hmm. They flagged one of my AMVs. The company blocked it on 90% of the world. And I'm like, why? 
First of all, this is free advertisement. If people actually watch it, it is free revenue. Sure, it's not a lot compared to what the company gets, but it's free advertisement. Yeah. And I even sent them a message like, okay, I, like I'm not earning anything from this. I'm doing this as a hobby. Would you mind unblocking it? They never replied. I get that they're a big company, but still, come on. You know, you can actually appeal those um, in most cases. If they don't respond, that waves your right to uh, go after it in most cases. Hmm. Like, I, I, I flagged, well, I, I filed a dispute with the Backstreet back all right thing on the third Pokemon video. Mm. And I'm still waiting to hear back on it uh, because I uh, keep pointing out the issue they always face. My vocals is now included with that. Therefore, under the Creative Commons law, I have now changed it irrecoverably. And because mm. of that change, it is now unique. And so they have to accommodate for that fact. And so they have to get their attorneys and lawyers to check it out if the change would be big enough, could it be argued in court, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, right, because companies are... What's it called? Ah. No, customers are innocent of the proven wrong, right? Uh, in some cases, yeah. Mm. How dare you avoid the attack? Now that you mentioned the appeal thing, I'm gonna actually check if I can appeal it without being like, yeah, this is mine. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, this is my stuff. Uh, remove the copyright. I just want to be like, unblock this. I don't care who gets money from this, just unblock it. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're just doing it to have fun, you know? Hmm. Like, you're not doing it to undermine the company or hurt their finances or blah, blah, blah. I mean, it, it might not be the best AAD, but it, it's... It, 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 it's advertising. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, there's... Oh, man. <laughs> I just realized actually all of my MVs are at least partially blocked, but there's one of them that is fully blocked for whatever reason. Oof. All right, will Palmo evolve now? Let's find out. Yes! Palmo is evolving! Palmo evolved into Palmot. Oh, let's do oh, this Pokemon normally is slow to react, but once it enters battle, it will strike down its enemies with lightning fast movements. He wants to learn Revival Blessing. You know what? Just until I get something else, Revival Blessing, we'll, we'll give him that one, you know? So instead of having to use Revive, we can just revive somebody. Okay, cool. We don't need Palmo out anymore. That means we can actually all ride Kar oh, Karaiden, take all the gyms, all, all the raids and stuff. There, my team's fully evolved. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I realized. Wait, what is this? Okay. I'm checking the copyright claim stuff. Yeah. There's a scene at the end. Let me check which one this is. Okay. There's a scene where there is a body on the floor, uh, not living anymore. Okay. That scene is about a minute long. That has only been blocked in like five countries. Then there's a different scene, same anime. Uh, but different scene. It's... Uh, how long is this? This is 30 seconds long. And it's just like a flashback of one of the main characters. Uh, that one is blocked in like, I don't fucking know, I, the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> like, this is blocked in... Oh, Guam, China, Africa, Asia. Uh, 
Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh... I'm pretty sure it's every single country is listed. I'm sorry, we cannot, <laughs> sho we cannot <laughs> show this, uh, cause it's blocked <laughs> on grounds of you. Uh... Oh, crap, there goes the raid. Oh, that's not, that's not a raid. Oh, it's a Pokemon, never mind. I was gonna, like, take it out if it was a raid or something. Yes, I'm actually going back to like to do the raids. I'm happy. So all I got now, all I have left to do Ooh. now is. Oh, actually, crap! Before I forget, how do I see if something is in the public domain? Like URL or in general? Uh, the movies and stuff. Hmm, can't remember. Oh cool, he does have iron fish. Nice. Uh, uh, it typically falls into public domain if they've been abandoned. I mean or if it has it's been. or if the IP doesn't keep getting renewed. Like we know Winnie the Pooh, for example, is public domain because the license on that expired. Uh, oh, like only has a length of about 70 years, I think. Same with Sherlock Holmes. You can make your own Sherlock games or movies and it'd be perfectly legal. I thought it was just that they forgot to renew it. No, um, the estates uh, have access to it. Uh, but some things they just can't renew. Because it typically falls to the author to renew it. Like Mickey Mouse, oh, okay. I think either this year or next, oh, falls into public domain. Then Disney can't do Diddly Squat. No, but isn't that the reason to why they make all of the remakes? That if they use that for something, they pretty much get another 50 years with it? Not always. Oh, okay. But uh, what do I dispute this under original content it's not it's not my content at all did you permission make... i never asked about it if you significantly uh, transformed i yeah cut it could... together but that you could get raw uh, based on the law of creative commons uh, okay uh, i don't uh, do that like if they counter dispute it there's nothing really you could do just roll with it because then it threatens to delete your channel, but that's only after mm. they uh, counter dispute it and if you want to still continue to dispute it. Does that make sense? Yes. That's a Garchomp. I, I could escalate to appeal. <laughs> that sounds a bit more sketchy considering that they will flag my account if I lose the dispute. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, they didn't Can't... respond to my email, so here we go. Just beauty. <laughs> I believe my video is under fair use. Yes, yes, yes. I'm wondering if there's a way I can get up there, because I kind of want to fight the Garchomp. I want to fight the Garchomp. Can I climb up this mountain and fall down? We're about to find out, and then I'm going to probably get my ass kicked. Cause that's a giant cave. I need your help again. Okay, what's up? So I need to select the type of this video. It's technically a remix or mashup. Okay. But it's technically also a dubbed video. Cause the music is not what is happening in the video. In re uh, or the original. And it's an entertainment video. Yeah. Oh, just a second. Is there a way for me to climb up and out? What did I just run into? There's nothing there. Go away, Sableye. Like, haha, I'm here. No, you're a Pokemon that got caught in the stone.
Okay, there has to be a way for me to cheese this a little. Can I climb up and over? Is there a way for me to get up from here? I don't think there's a way for me to glide over there from here. The distance is too far. That's too oh, high. Uh, yeah, there's no way I can glide from here. And there's no way I can throw up a Pokeball to cheese it for that way either. I think I'll just have to, I think I just have to move on. How do you write intrigue? Intrigue? Intrigue with? Oh, give me gold. <laughs> I like Google's definition of this word already. Behold my illusions! You think you're beautiful? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> ah, so you're <laughs> Selma the model. I don't know who Selma is, but model, sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, I had the sudden realization that I still can't do anything. Because of the ghost type. <laughs> Why does everybody keep setting out, setting out ghost types to fight my electric mouse? Why? <laughs> you knocked off my oh, crocodile's glasses, you bastard. That's what you get. Oh, it was a Zorura. <laughs> You know what, Jesus. we just copy-paste this me message and appeal, no, dispute every copyright thingy. Now yeah. you've done it. If they come after me, I'm just gonna send it to you. Like, Daniel told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel told me about this. Man, Daniel, you screwed up big. <laughs> like, you can always appeal it, oh, but if you continue after they've denied it, um, then it can reflect, uh, like, reflect back onto your account. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because at that point, they want you to lawyer up. <laughs> you're like, can right, you're wrong, the, deal with it. The check mark asking, my video does not infringe anyone's copyright. Let's see, infringe definition. No oh, agreement. Koala. Well, it's not mine, but I'm not claiming it to be mine, so I, am I infringing copyright? Uh, difficult to say. Well, I'm gonna leave it unchecked, considering that the company that owns the series is going to review this, and if they see that I left that unchecked, they will be more like, oh, okay, he knows at least. Whilst if I check it, they will be like, no, 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 this is still our content. The fuck? There's uh, the thing what Jim Sterling does with his videos, by the way, which is if he's gonna get, if he knows he's gonna get flagged for copyright, he puts other people's copyrighted materials in there too. So if you dispute it, the other company has to dispute it with the other company as well. And it's ca it's mm. like the dickish move you can do. So like if you take a Metal Gear Solid trailer, for example, right? With a uh, mm. snake and then you toss Pokemon into it with snake Pokemon. And then uh, hypothetically, if they get upset about it and they flag the Pokemon in it with Nintendo, then Konami can counter flag it back with Snake, and then those two and all uh, and all three of you get have to like duke it out, and it's kind it's kind of funny. At which point most people just give up because it's kind of a bit dickish. But is it? It sounds funny first of all, but is it still like that? Because the mine, for example, I honestly uh, do not. It's flagged on different spots. Like the the song, like yeah. that's not really flagged. It's just automatically detected that this is copyrighted. Uh, that one goes from like second 
the first second all the way to the last second of the video or last minute but the scenes that have been flagged individually those are two different scenes in the video so they're flagging two different parts in the video yeah i i don't know if it's still a thing i really mm. don't but it's what people were doing before and it's like the dig most dickish thing ever Well, dispute right. second one. I believe my video is protected. Blah blah blah. Select type, entertainment, copy paste. Oh, I also had to check all of the marks. Right, I think, I think, big all oh, think here that I might be able to drop down onto that guard chomp from where I am. And if that's the case, I could probably catch him. Daniel, catch him all. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, never mind. I take that back. It looks like I would have to go up higher and fall down, which I do not think I can do from my current location. Where is this block? Oh. <laughs> can, can I cheese this? I feel like I'm not going to cheese this. I thought for the longest time, I thought that this video, uh, another video, because it is uh, copyrighted and it says partially blocked, it just doesn't say where exactly until you like go in and check what the copyright claim is exactly. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, the song is copyrighted on this one. And the video I was using, that company didn't care. Like, yeah. And then I check like where is where is this video blocked? They're like, oh, copyright owner uh, owner is blocking uh, the video in this territory, Russia. Like, oh yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> no, nobody cares anymore. <laughs> what have I gotta do? Invade my country too? <laughs> now I'm more thinking about like, okay, it's one country that doesn't matter. But then at the same time, like, okay. I expected it to not be visible in Russia, North Korea, and any of those other countries like those. Yeah. I mean, at this point, do they still have proper internet access? Uh, they do, surprisingly. They, they have, like... just, um, have it greatly restricted. It's like... Yeah, that's essentially what I meant, yeah. Yeah. Like, I so know... I mean, they can't use it, but they have restrictions, like in China, where they have the, their special apps for most of the social media stuff. Yeah. And all the order. main websites are blocked. Mm. Like, uh, I believe, unless you're working for the government, Twitter's blocked. Ah, crap, brass. Oh, baskets. <laughs> starts to work for the government just to be able to go to Twitter. Like, uh, surprisingly, that uh, is what some people actually do. I still get flamed by um, a Russian guy I know. He, he blames me for all of his problems because he didn't get out of the country. Uh, sorry, the sound was a bit high. What did you say again? Uh, I, I still get blamed for a rush by a Russian guy for all of his problems because he didn't have the uh, foresight to get out of his country while he had the chance. Huh. Wait, are we talking about the... Well, not naming names. Uh, let's see. I, I've brought it up several times, so you probably uh, have heard me talk about it before. Yeah, so starting with W. Yes. Yeah, okay. I want that. I want the item. Let me up. <laughs> yeah, I still have not. Uh, I have not learned how to cheese it. Hmm. Like, I can in some cases, not all of them. Mm. 
I still need to um, unlock the actual climb feature and a few other features. Okay, I'm pretty sure I beat her up. I'm confusing myself here. What the... What's this? Uh, okay. All right, we haven't done a raid today, so... Well, hi, Pikachu. Let's go take on this raid. It is a rock one. A wiki berry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I am not even online. I should probably fix that, shouldn't I? Oh, Actually, at the beginning, I... I didn't know that she needed subscription for that stuff, so I was always waiting for people and no one showed up. I was like, oh, fine. Then, like, <laughs> after a week, I was like, oh, I don't have subscription, that's why. Yeah, um... I knew... I just couldn't do anything about it until my sister came to visit. She's like, oh, yeah, you probably need that. So here, let me get it for you. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's how I got it. Uh, I'm actually in the process of downloading all the Zelda games right now, because once you get the subscription, you actually get access to all the NES titles uh, and 64 titles. Super Nintendo titles, all the prior titles they have in their library, and you can just play them. Ooh. So once I finish all the my Pokemon binge, I'm probably gonna do a Zelda binge. Here, give me cool. Well, I might not join for all of them, but I am interested in some of the Zelda games. I think the only ones uh, I can't play is um, the newest Zelda. I want to mm. play the remake of Link's Awakening. And I want to replay Breath of the Wild, but I have to get that also. Because I was using my sister's copy and she moved away. Hmm. No, I got Breath of the Wild. I never finished it, but I'm a millionaire in that game as well because I used uh, exploit with moving one of those like uh, machines from one chunk to another, and then it spewed out all of those parts. Yeah, I, I love how like all of us are basically collectively. Oh, we can cheese it. Let's cheese it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. After I cheesed it, I actually went through the trouble of going through the lava area without any fire protection. That was a hassle. My Palmot just one shot at the Pichu. <laughs> it's like, I, can't, oh, I don't I have can't. time for this, so... <laughs> but I have to eat dinner now. Thank you for the dispute uh, thingy, Majig. I'll be no back worries. in 30-ish minutes. All right, go have fun. I'm gonna go Thank see you, if I YouTube. can. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can kick Larry's butt. Sounds good. Yes. I'm just gonna mute myself, not leave the actual call. Okay. What is that? That's a true mish. That's the gimmick. Girl. Yunk. Excisor. Ah, crap. No, didn't want to do that. Everything is already way too strong. <laughs> Why would I want to beat up a mushroom? Uh, 
we beat up this gym later. Oh, gym, not later, trainer. There we go. Oh, now I'm gonna feel bad. I'm basically beating up a brother. Oh well. Rip. Is he supposed to be yellow? Hold up, I don't think he's supposed to be yellow, does he? Okay, I'm guessing he is. Ow! He wants to try to prevent me from escaping, that's funny. That's adorable. He's almost level 50. He's actually gonna totally keep... In, he's totally gonna ignore me, so I'm surprised he hasn't. Maybe it is, like, based on the friendship meter. It's like, the more I give him a bath and shit, the more he oh, likes me. Hello, if you want me to scrub your fire, I will scrub your fire. How's that shiny object? In the object? Drift loom. Now we're good. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, him and my Pokemon. All right, there are two gyms, uh, two raids. Ooh, I figure we can hit those first. Uh, it's probably a good idea to actually pick up some uh, more raid stuff. Did I pick up those? Oh, a sleepy mbostiff. No, I don't want to fight. I want to be nice. I'm not interested in being mean to you. I didn't mean to wake you up. I just wanted items. Did you come over for pets? Oh, I will give you pets. Like, we, we, we can be friendly. I'll, I'll, I'm friendly. He sounds so angry. He sounds so very angry with me. I wonder if I can get a cooler t-shirt soon, because I'm getting kind of sick of wearing the school uniform. Bro, we're waiting for you. Thank you, no-no. Waiting for no-no. I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch it. I punched it. I don't think we need it. You get a lot of mushrooms though. We can make mushroom soup! Mushroom soup will be good. We make mushroom soup.
And then there's one more over there. No, oh, that's a Pokemon. That is not an item, that is a Pokemon. What's that? Oh, that's a tree root. I thought that too was a Pokemon. That's a terrestrialized Pokemon. Uh, do we have to take the long way around if we want that? It is on top of a platform in the middle of everything else and we can't actually get to it. So. Suda Widow can book it. Holy crap, that is fast. You seem to have a descending eye. Have a look at how cute my Pokemon is. Sir, I'm about to kick your Pokemon butt. It's an ice type. You know what fighting type does to ice type? I'll tell you. I'll let you know. It's a secret. Shh. I have ice cubes for my drink now. I don't even need to heal now. I can just go beat up Larry. What would Larry's gym challenge be? He's a normal everyday businessman. Is he gonna teach me economics? All right, Larry, I've come to learn about economics. There it is, there's the gym. Microeconomics, macroeconomics. Yeah, teach me about entrepreneurship. Well now, Rose. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this the kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> you got some spirit big shot! This young lady would like- oh, would be Rika. Okay. That's me, Rika, here at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. Uh, not gonna lie, I didn't even pick up on the fact that it was Rika. I just, that was, uh, I, like, I never thought Rika was a flame. I did not realize Rika was a woman. For me, it looked like a very flamboyant man. But okay. She is a little, uh, farcical, uh, shall we say, but like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo, you look fun. Like, interesting at, gl uh, at a glance, anyway. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, haha, -ha, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up uh, the further you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But you're not right, kiddo? See, when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gyms what you've got. Best of fortunes to you. Okay. Bye. Have to have a good time, I guess. What about normal types? They're <laughs> they're weak to fighting. Yeah, no duh. Welcome to the Medallia Gym. Let me register you. Your challenge. Your name is Rose. Yep. Great, now in order to face the gym leader, Larry, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here with the Medallia Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, a menu item at the Treasure Eatery, a much beloved restaurant here in Medallia. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around town attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that will help them discover the uh, secret dish. You'll be given the clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. 
Your goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish, and then order it from the waiter at the treasury eatery. Only the challenger who is able to order correctly will pass the test. Your clue is to find out how the regulars season their dishes. I'd suggest you start by hearing what a regular at the treasury has to say. Does, doesn't he just like curry? I heard Larry likes curry. Should, should I just order curry then? Instead of battling everybody? So the famous restaurant, the treasure eatery is here. We also have the secret dish for those currently taking on the gym test. Uh -huh. Or a secret menu item. Now tell me, what will we be ordering? Wait, do I have to pick something? It's not curry? Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like I actually do have to order the thing, and it's not curry. Okay. I, I always thought Larry would be a curry guy because he looks like the kind of guy who would eat curry. So I'm gonna go beat up a kid, maybe get her secret. We're challenged by Adra the student. Who gives this kid a wallet filled with cash? And Pokemon. Who? Who lets this kid roam around the streets? Hmm. Too many questions. Oh crap, it lived. What the hell? What the cracker baskets? One hit, it knocks out my palm on. I wish we could trade clues like we could Pokemon. All right, Forky Kid, what's your secret? The odd one out at the ice cream stands. The clue is to look for something that's the odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. Come to think of it, I could use some ice cream as a pick-me-up since I lost. Reflect. Um... Cupcakes? No, ice cream, ice cream. Would you like some delicious... Teriyaki? Uh, 
creeps. Grilled rice ball. Oh. Okay, so it's grilled rice balls. Alright, now what else is there? Let's do this! My squawk ability can talk! What kind of drink do I want? Lemonade, soda pop, fresh water. Maybe I'll just use these points. Um. Lemon grilled balls. Hmm. A lot of restaurants in this town, actually. Although, to be fair, there are a lot of restaurants everywhere else, too. Wait. Anyone else here taking the gym test? Okay. I mean, in a way, I'm kind of lucky right now because normal types don't really hurt ghosts. Ah, crap, ask it's gonna put my uh, skeleton to sleep. Do I have to tell you the clues and something else? Yes, fork it! Gibby! Fine, my clue is, oh, uh, listen, they're really close to you. The blue bird Pokemon, I'm still puzzling over it. And all that said, keep focusing on me on the battle. Okay. Talk a Billy, talk a Billy. This is cute thing, this, and this ain't nothing. No think, no think. Medium, medium, oh, okay. Okay, so grilled rice balls, medium. Hey, more leftovers. Keep finding these coins. There you go. Oh, hey, cool, 20 gimme go coins, awesome. And she must be the final student. Okay. You are challenged by Gisla, the student. That's actually, a kind of, that's actually a cute model right there. It's very nicely detailed. I like that one. Wait, ghost type moves don't affect normal type? Yo, it's like a two for one? I can't remember. Fine, I'll burn it. I'm back. Oh my god. I heard a Ursa ring and he said he's back. <laughs> the Ursa ring's talking to me. I'm hearing voices. <laughs> You cannot burn me, I'm already on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to throw a perfume. Your perfume does nothing. <laughs> Axe Deo Drive, now in your closest store. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm I'm in the town. I gotta make uh, Larry's uh, secret menu item. I can't believe this gym test is about stealing other people's clues. It's fighting dirty. So I was given look for a dark spot surrounded by stairs. I don't remember seeing this particular dark spots in town. Let's see. <laughs> What's this? Oh, There's something go. faint. It says fire blast. Okay. Wait, did you just get uh, the the the? I got the final clue. No, I mean, did you get a comment on one of your streams? Not I can see. Oh, I thought that that was what you were reading. No, no, I was, um, I've been doing my challenge thing here. Oh. How can I stalk how many people you have on YouTube? What kind of what? The what and the who? Exactly. <laughs> how can I see how many viewers you currently have on YouTube? I only know how to see that on Twitch. Uh, if you go to the top where the three dots are, and uh, you click it, you can see users. I have to add you as a mod on YouTube, though. I just need your email. Send it to me. I'll do it a little. I'll do it a little bit later. I'm uh, probably not gonna maintain the... YouTube one too much. Yeah, it's sure. ma yeah, it's mainly the Twitch one. Do, 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 do. It should still be this one. Yes. I tried to manage like having two email addresses, one for like more legitimate stuff, things like uh, uh, job applications and stuff like that. Hmm. And the other one for gaming, but I've started getting lazy about it. So the one for gaming might be compromised. Rip. And then uh. I've d put some things on my main one. I think Twitch is on my main email, and YouTube is still on the old one. I get you. But that's mainly because my grading my grading over was a hassle previously, I believe. All right, so it's grilled rice balls. Uh, medium serving, uh, fire blast style, and lemon to garnish. There we are. Gotcha, medium rice balls, extra crispy with lemon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, did I just kill all the participants in the gym? Yeah. What? What? Like you have seen um, I, Squid Games, yeah? Yeah, yeah, like, like, okay, I get the right answer. And then everybody <laughs> dining at the tables, they're dead now, you know? They're all dead. I killed them. And it's time for a gym battle on their corpses. Yeah, they all got flinged into the walls. Now they're to tomato sauce. Yeah, they're just like, oh, oh no. Somebody got the arm. No! <laughs> There's this one pessimistic guy in the restaurant. Of course, this has to happen on the one day I want to dine here. Whoosh. Like, like the two or three or four people, yeah, four people over here who were just like at these side dining tables. They're like, we know, right? That's why we <laughs> eat here. That we know, okay? We know. <laughs> I heard there's some kind of amazing gimmick in the treasury eater. Yeah, yeah, we we just find out. You kill everybody to take. To... All right, here we go. They'll take your order up front. This place has rave reviews. Although I would hope they do. Do you want to face the exceptional everyman himself, gym leader Larry? Yeah, sure. In that case, please head into the battle court. Larry, you're up! The Larry exceptional the, <laughs> the exceptional everyman. Hi, my name is Larry. Wait, no, I got I gotta do it right. <clears throat> Hello. 
I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work at the gym leader in Medallia. Good job on making your way through the gym test. I hate and, my life. Uh, well, maybe try to other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. You're just standing there with the sunglasses. Yeah, let's go! Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. <laughs> uh, like this, this, no, the, these gym battles, they feel very underwhelming in some cases, you know what I mean? I just ate, so let's not make this go too hard. I mean, it's kind of your own fault for giving, like, drugging your pomo with I don't know how many uh, rare candies. Yeah. <laughs> now he's level 50. Larry is about to set out Dun Dun Sparse. Will we switch Pokemon? Nah. Larry, set out Dun Dun Sparse. But this is essentially how my playthrough went as well. I had Pomo. <laughs> That's that was all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Gym leader Larry is about to set out Star Raptor. We switch Pokemon? Nah, not really. This is still better than getting cornered by my boss. <laughs> Here only my Pokemon have to suffer. <laughs> You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. <laughs> Come on, Larry, step it up a notch. We've got a hungry, hot customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for, you hear? Show us what you've got, Larry! And you too, kid! Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. Imagine this in real life. People just rushing in. That would immediately scream at them. Hey, order a lead! I think it's time to show you that real life isn't just being true to yourself. to learn swagger. No, we're not gonna teach swagger. You certainly threw me for a loop. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? <laughs> Having four gym badges in hands makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 40. 
Oh, and they'll actually listen to you too. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put on its namesake. The dish is here, they've all got flavor, good flavor I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill, I do earn a salary after all. Now I'd better get back to work, if you excuse me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I had to give Larry the voice, you know? I had to. And get into character as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get, get, gotta get into character, you know? <laughs> oh, Rose, hola! <laughs> Do I have to beat her up now too? Caught you just as you finished up here, huh? Nice work. That puts four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. I can't believe you're halfway through our, your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here and now, but I'm gonna have to wait. Cause I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader, dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time I've got to ask for a rain check. Grrr, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry. Forgive me, forgive me. Okay. Later, you crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the sound Chewbacca makes in bed. <laughs> Okay, so that whole gym experience in this town, that was like surprisingly underwhelming, you know what I mean? <laughs> Although with oh, uh, a gym leader come, <laughs> yeah, with Larry, uh, the exceptional everyman, what do you expect, right? Mm. Uh, you defeat you four trainers in here. Once you defeat five trainers, you get a little prize. Oh, okay, so there's actually one more trainer I can beat up and get a prize, cool. I know exactly who that is, too, because I kept walking by him. Alright, and let's see what new TMs we can make. Dude, can we get Thunder Punch made yet? I want Thunder Punch. Thunder Fang, Charge Beam, Electro Ball, Eerie Impulse, Thunder Wave, no. Like, they give us baton pass this early, but not anything good. <laughs> also reminded me about a uh, meme I saw on 9 gag in the morning today. I was like, uh, it was about Pokemon. I was like, oh, remember the good old days? You just level up your Pokemon and it evolves, so you use a uh, Ice Stone or Electric Stone or Fire Stone. Nowadays. Your Pokemon oh. has to be exactly level 49, it has to be 2 HP, you have to be on top <laughs> yeah. of the highest mountain, and you have to make it battle, uh, no, f you have to do 5 push-ups, uh, yeah, at five the same time as yeah. the thunder comes down. Uh, and you have to climb to, like, the Eiffel, t on the tip of the Eiffel Tower to do this. Yeah, that was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I saw that, that meme was... earlier today also, I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's about right. That's about right. I was just thinking about imagine this with the TM system. Like you want to learn Thunder Punch, okay? You have to send out your Pokemon so it does a punch animation at the same time as it is thundering on your Pokemon whilst you're on the top of the mountain. <laughs> 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 Only way to learn the TM. Only way. There are a lot of hiker moms in this game. Have you noticed that? Like there are very few thin women in this game. There, there are more hiker moms than anything. Well, considering the game is from Japan, like, and, I, I'm... Uh, they might misunderstand what we mean when we say thick, and I believe that they're trying to cater to, like, the nostalgic group of players rather than the young ones nowadays. So, uh... No, no, I, I think it's more <laughs> reverse because, like, we we all know that, like, oh, not every woman's, like, thin, you know what I mean? 
So like, I'm actually mm. okay with the hiker moms. I just, I'm uh, taken a bit aback because of how many there are. Wait, is that, <laughs> is that a shiny Satoddle? Why don't we have so many no. in real life? All right, there's another guy here. We're gonna beat him up also, and then we'll go back and get our prize. In cold places I like this, something. Blah, blah, blah. I have realized the problem in the world. No, oh, what's that? The reason to why it is so hard for guys like us to find a girl or a woman is because there are not enough women out there. So they are like the, the prize possession. Like there's 10 guys to every one woman. So they can do whatever they want. They can choose whoever they want. So they do whatever they want. They don't care about the fairies anymore. But if if suddenly like the next generation, like a bunch of women are born, then suddenly we have like an overflow of women. And when they get on legal age, then suddenly they have to fight for us. And then they're gonna start becoming nice again. <laughs> I, I like your reaction. I don't, have, I don't have that problem at all though. I just don't like what people. You, you say you're a playboy or a jiggle now, huh? huh? Uh, neither. <laughs> I just don't like people, that's it. Do I want to learn a rain dance? Nah. That, that is legitimately my only problem. I just don't like people. Now, but think about it. You don't like them because of how they behave. And the reason to why they behave that way is because they feel entitled. Which no, is I, because... I just... No, no. In my case, uh, it's probably the opposite. Every woman I've met, at least in Norway uh, and some here in the U.S., uh, they don't feel entitled. Um, in their case, they are actually pretty straightforward, understanding, logical. Even a lot of my uh, friends and followers on Twitter are the same way. Well, uh, yeah. There are women who definitely feel entitled and definitely think they believe they're better than literally everybody else. Ooh, can I finally get up there? Can I get that from here? Uh, Should work, yeah. No, uh, I'm losing altitude way too quick. Nuts. Nuts! Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now it started to dip down fast. Yep. <laughs> but, um... Uh, like, for me, I just don't feel like... How do I how do I put it like I don't feel like I should go after anybody right now Wait I, did, wait. <laughs> at first I was like, huh did How I is Danny gonna say this without sounding like a dick? No, no, like uh, I just financially I I can't well, I am like what well, I'm the school today. Yeah, well. I'm 36. I'm living with my parents. I'm going back to school and like despite my overwhelming amount of talent skills and everything else that i have no prospects currently unless mm. i can like get something to work and i can't support anybody like financially in a relationship i can't do anything and then anything else it's the opposite you know what i mean oh uh, i would be a burden to whoever i date no, 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 no. Out, outside, is, there uh, outside are... of emotional uh, support. Ah, there we go. You can't think of it the other way around. Maybe there is a sugar mommy out there somewhere <laughs> who just really needs a partner to get to be their pillar. You would be the perfect fit. You might sometimes be like, I'm, I'm sorry to take all of your money. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'm not paying you for your services. I want to gift you these things for your services. <laughs> but, but what am I doing? You are my pillar and my rock. 
Like I could be I could be their stay-at-home husband, you know, like that one anime. Exactly. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like <laughs> I'm like, oh one second, we need to collect the homeowners association fee. And like I I go like full Yakuza and uh, on everyone. I'm just like, I'm here for your homeowners association fee. <laughs> like I have a fake scar on the side. Don't think any more about it. Mm -hmm. Then I saw a video about it and it was white, like as it looks like white with the blue thingy, so like Wait a minute, wait, wait, what? I looked at mine, like, it's red. Did I get oh. the female version? But they don't have a gender. Why is mine red? And for like five or six years, I thought that I somehow bugged out my game. I crazy first, Dave's... after all of those years, I realized, oh, it's a shiny. <laughs> yeah, that was the introduction uh, introduction one for a shiny Pokemon. Mm. How you doing, Dave? You having a nice day? Dave's on YouTube, by the way. YouTube, I'm going over. Yeah, I, I genuinely uh, joke with her still. Like, we still talk, actually. We're actually still very close. Uh, mm. It actually came out recently, like, uh, not even a few days ago, that there was. Uh, I wasn't hallucinating uh, anything. All uh, genuinely real. And I was like, oh. Well, okay then. But like it's bittersweet because there was nothing I could do. Because no matter mm. what, I had to come back to America. Mm. And the only way for me to get back anywhere in the world is to get a bachelor's degree. So here we are. I uh, kind of, well, not exactly the same, but kind of the same scenario with me and a longtime friend of mine. I met her through a game when we were like. Well, shiny, uh -huh, shiny monkey or something like that. Yeah. And uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, we ended up talking for multiple years, like because we played the game together, and then we just got closer. And then when we were like 18, 19, we both were kind of getting more interested in finding a romantic relationship but she lives in germany and i live in norway and wait, wait, wait. Uh, crazy dave asks why is pokemon scarlet in my breath of the wild wait, what are we talking about? I, I do not know dave did i put it on the wrong playlist is that what you're all asking me or is it in like one of YouTube's playlists? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. That'd be interesting. If uh, it's in one of my playlists, it'd, it'd be possible to view it from the title screen. Like from my uh, page screen, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, I'm on your channel. No. The playlist. Do you have a? Yeah, you do. Let's see if it's in here. Not in this one. How do I make this Titan show? Oh, physical box. <laughs> Mm -hmm. His physical oh, copy okay. of his uh, Pokemon game is in the Breath of the Wild cover or case. RIP. <laughs> the world may never know. It's like me when I'm wondering where all of my Switch games are. They're like, oh, wait, it's in the Switch. <laughs> like, oh, it's probably it's, it's probably there. It's probably there. And it's like it ends up always being in a different case. It's the same with me and either Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon. Mm. Because I don't have a case for it, it always ends up in a different kind of game case. Uh, I have that with uh, Super Smash. I bought the Switch second hand and it came with Super Smash, but the case wasn't there. So now it's just like, okay, one game is always inside of the Switch and the other game is either in the right cover or in the wrong one, since I only have uh, 
I think I only have two physical copies of games. And crazy day, by the way, I got sent to Mario Odyssey instead of one. So that's a win. As long as you only got charged for one of them. By the way, I got sent to Mario Odyssey one. instead of one. So that's a win. <laughs> yeah, I'd consider that a win. <laughs> Two Mario, are you gonna share the wealth by the way? Wink wink. Free subscriptions to the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Um I don't know how to make this Titan show up. And I'm still uh, worried because everything's level 50. Uh, if there wasn't anything you had to oh, do it's a beforehand, it was just that you had to go to wherever water splashing was happening, I believe. And then it would, like, move away. So you essentially had to play, like, hide-and-seek uh, three times. And the last time was at the wall where you went from the sea to the land where you were trying to jump up this one too high mountain thingy. Gotcha, okay. That's surprisingly difficult considering how my Switch is struggling right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have it plugged into the dock, so it has the full processing power, you know, because uh, it's getting the right amount of current. Mm. But as you can see, anytime I hop into the water, it, my console is struggling. <laughs> uh, but at the it's, same time, you're also sending everything to a bigger display, right? Yeah, I'm sending everything uh, to my computer. Yeah, so... But, like... You get it, the full power, but at the same time, it also has to display to a bigger screen. Even though it doesn't increase the pixel rate, I think. Uh, I'm actually using a little adapter that has it built in just so I can do that with no problem. Mm. It's even being upscaled to 4K from this adapter. Yeah, I'm okay, not they... sure how that works then, but if that's from the Switch, then yeah, it's reasonable why no. it's struggling. <laughs> no, no, um, the Switch just as a general whole did not have enough power. Mm. When it launched, that's why they have the OLED models and everything. Oh, no, 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 the OLED is the exact same processor and everything as the old one. The only difference between the OLED and the base switch is the screen. Uh, I believe it has to be with friends, Dave. Re wait, really? I thought the OLED got a new CPU. Because no, the original... Uh, not. If, if it got a better one, it was, again, just a battery uh, increase. Like you have a Switch 2019 model, and then you have the Switch that you probably have. Uh, those just have battery battery life, and the OLED one, same thing again. If they got a new CPU, it's confirmed that it's only better battery life. Uh, OLED Switch versus Switch. Like I know with mine. I got it from an eBay auction, and then I just kind of repaired it. It was a oh, simple okay. fix. They're like, oh, I can't fix it. It's better sell it on eBay. And they're like, sell it for broken. And it was like, it was literally the dumbest problem. It was just Joy-Con drift. Oh. <laughs> and me being an intellectual knew Nintendo was just replacing the controllers for free so that like, i got the switch i think for like 30 or 60 dollars at the time like three-fourths of its total price and then i just sent the controllers in nintendo sent me brand new controllers for free there you go problem solved everything works <laughs> <laughs> uh, and i just found the uh... Ah, crap. No documentation on it. The new one, I said only the screen update, OLED instead of uh, LCD. And the kickstand is different, obviously, and then otherwise nothing. Oh. Um, in Pokemon, Dave, we actually get to play if I have the invite code public, I believe. I believe. 
Like, I don't think we have to be friends. So theoretically, Raxer also could join us if I made my uh, group public. Uh, that I would have to get subscription. <laughs> that involves effort. Exactly. I would much rather just tell both of you how to make a fake local uh, virtual thingy. So it looks like we're all playing in the same living room. <clears throat> living room? I'm playing in my room. Yeah. Your room, your living room, your kitchen, it's all the same. Playing with waffles. <laughs> I am not seeing any splashing here. Uh, the first one should happen at the island where you were fighting the... We're all fighting that one guy? Yeah. Okay, I guess we can go back and look. Yeah, you can but see I'm this. I'm I'm struggling with like 15 frames. Hmm. I mean, I had the same issue when I was at that area. I made a room. Uh, they uh, made a room. I, I I'm not gonna be playing with anybody, Dave. I'm sorry. I haven't uh, finished my Pokemon journey yet. Uh. uh do you know what the Titan is called? I do not. All I know is like it's called False Dragon or something. False Dragon. Let's see. Oh, I heard something. I heard a rumble. Or that could have been oh, my Karadin. I think it was my Karadon. I see a waterfall. I think oh, I'll go you have to, Yeah, you have to interact with a small fish that is on the shore. Oh, it's on the shore? Okay. Yeah, a red, uh, red fish. Finding red Nemo. fish. Okay, he... I'm gonna go find Nemo then. Okay. The first one is... I'm pretty sure it's the island where you were fighting the guy, but if it's not on the map, it looks like a dinosaur's head with a neck or something. I think it's actually the one you... Yeah, that's the red fishy. Oh, that one red fish over here? Tai Tai? A, t a Thai fish? Should be. It said, but there are two of them. Sutan. Yeah, there's three different. Uh, it would it would make sense if they were. Uh, oh wait, this one's massive. Oh, it's a uh, little red. He's going to float oh. when you interact oh, with him. Oh, that's who the fit. Oh. Ah, okay. Dunzo the now false dragon to find type. Okay. The second time. I wish I had Thunder Punch right now. That would make my life so much easier. <laughs> I need to see. I don't think I have to be up too early tomorrow. How much longer are you gonna stream for, you think? Uh, probably about 2 oh, 30. 30, 245. That doesn't tell me anything. How many uh, hours is our real minutes. difference here? No, 30 to 45 more minutes. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to uh, rely on Torterra. That works out for me. It's still a bit more than 15 minutes, not 15 minutes, 15 hours until I wake, have to wake up again. So oh, crap, Battle Basket, Batman. Wow. <laughs> you are paralyzed. Why are you actually hurting me this much? 
not pun intended, but remember to hydrate. <laughs> what? What do you mean Torterra is now paralyzed? No, no, no. Hit him with the razor leaf. Really? Well, at least it's even on both sides. He's like blub 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 blub. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up with the greatest idea that probably has already exists. Imagine a Pokemon game that is like jokishly made true to real life. Instead of getting confused, your Pokemon get drunk. And when your Pokemon is like shocked and the enemy Pokemon attacks yours, it shocks itself, but then like an actual shocking. All right, here's what we do, okay? Damage this is, here. here's my brain idea, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create- Your brain idea? We're gonna create our own Pokemon game, okay? You follow me? Uh, we're gonna use <laughs> real animals in it, and <laughs> we're gonna call it, PETA will probably get pissed. <laughs> the only thing that comes in my mind when you say using real animals. Give me a second. All right, so we're gonna Can have to I make it, it? Yeah, there we go. This is how I imagine our game is gonna look like. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to shift tab, aren't I? Okay, one second. Let me, let me shift tab. <laughs> we are not competent enough to make a game better than that. that yeah, no, yeah, I agree. We're weird. Because <laughs> like, let's let's face it, like we got me, I can write and design it and manage everything. But I, after that, I'm pretty much done. I can't really do anything. <laughs> And you're like, you're the one single programmer. <laughs> so it's like, one sec, I will design this masterpiece game. <laughs> it's just that. I can, maybe, maybe I could stitch together like a 3D model using 2D <laughs> versions. But then every time it moves, you're going to see like it clipping back and forth and like where the strings are connected. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm shaking my head. Wait, no, you can see it. Yeah, I can't see it in right now. <laughs> Just like, mm. All right, so now we got to go find another fish that's lost somewhere around here. You know, the, like the, te the, the, the Tetsugi should have been a clear indicator for me, but it wasn't. The Tetsugi should have given it away from me, but they didn't. <laughs> it's also like, you interact with most of the people there, like you check out their dialogues and everything. But you skip the one that is important for your progression. And I'm the total opposite, like dialogue, I don't give a shit, I don't give a shit. What am I supposed to do again? <laughs> so I gotta find two more, is it over here? I don't know, this is probably that Meryl, uh, Zoom Meryl from earlier. I think there's one more on an island, and then the next one is on like the big area. Yeah, no, well, it'll probably be obnoxiously island, big. Island. Wait, I heard, I heard one. There he is. Like every fish has it in for me. Have you noticed that? Ah, crap! Now it's a scyther. Go away, scyther! I don't want to fight you. Ah, crap, baskets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened. Ah. Okay, fine. Skeleturge will burn him to death. Have you heard of the invention called fire? What? No, oh, look. <laughs> you know what Australians do to bugs? They eat them. You know why? They're called widgety grubs. Um, yum, 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 yum. Your sword dance does nothing. You're protein to me. <laughs> um. Widgety grubs. Oh, talk yeah, about protein. Does. I bought 
something called pre-workout today. Like, it's essentially uh, a supplement that works like energy drinks, just that it is more catered towards working out, and it has a bit more vitamins and a less sugar in it and so on. Okay. Uh, the difference is it's supposed to... It's a bit stronger than energy drinks, and it's supposed to also wake your body up. So n not just your mind like energy drinks do, but your body as well so you can actually do more workout and I wanted to try it because I felt like I have have been too tired the recent few days and considering there's vitamins in it I was like especially vitamin D which is hard to get in Norway mm. uh, I was like oh maybe this actually works to get me to be more awake um, so about it, a friend of mine who already uses pre-workout was like, okay, but for you, since you're not used to it, just do a half a serving instead of a full one, because you mix it with water. Hmm. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll try half a serving. So I did half a serving, I drank about one third of the bottle, and I was like, hmm, this doesn't feel like much, and it tastes watery. We'll do, f we'll do a full serving. So I put an extra half serving in to make it like roughly one serving drank the bottle and I don't really feel anything yeah it's all gimmicks all gimmicks no but that that stuff is actually like approved by oh yeah uh, just, beca health, just because blah, blah. it's yeah just because it's approved doesn't mean it'll work approved basically be means me. it won't kill you if you eat it Oh no, those are, uh, it's not just like approved to be allowed to be sold here, but because it is a training supplement, it also has to be proven under the, I don't, I don't remember what's it called, like um, protein powder. There are certain types of protein powder that you're not allowed to take if you want to enter any kind of competition. Ah. Because some protein powders are actual drugs, like there's drugs in the protein powder, so they do not pass this test or whatever because it's supposed to just be a supplement it's not mm. supposed to be a drug i'm sorry i'm, uh, I'm laughing at my uh torterra right now he, he's on a balloon <laughs> oh yeah i think they do that if you also normally swim in the water like if you make them come out they'll spawn in a balloon where they jump on I have so many Gyarados around me, this is unnerving. Don't worry, they're not that strong. Do I want to learn Crunch? Not really. Oh yeah, I wanted to try it going for a pre-workout because first of all, the potential benefits of it. And also because it was cheaper than energy drinks overall, like it's $43 estimated for one package, which is 30 servings, so 30 energy drinks. And one energy drink here is 2.7 euro uh, dollars. So 10, 15 energy drinks, and I would already be at that limit. So hmm. I'm essentially just paying half. I'm getting double for the same money, so to say. Oh my lord. This is, like, this is unnerving because, uh, due to how slow everything is processing, uh, like, I see all these Pokemon popping up from underneath the water. And, uh, but you have to think about it the other way. It's not just that you see things slower. It's like burden. The game is also slower. Like, uh, I'm hearing the Jaws theme, you know what I mean? Da -da. Wait, is that mm. a bravery? No, I thought I saw bravery for a moment. Do, do, do. All right, so I'm guessing the other Tatsugis I'm looking for are gonna be the other colors. So we found the orange one. That would mean there's like a pink one and a yellow one we still have to find. Uh, I think they have the same. 
like the dead giveaway is how large they are compared to the rest mm. okay so i searched those two islands which means it's probably uh the island coming up here Uh, thank you, Night Swing, for the follow. Thank you. If you're wondering, by the way, why I'm stopping to pick up all the feathers, it's because I actually want to reset up my Pokemon stats and IV train them before the uh, Pokemon League. All right. I should never really looked into IV training. I tried to get into it once. Like when I was done with one of the older games. But like I was they, just like, yeah. They made it so much easier compared to uh, what it used to be. Mm. Like, when it, what it used to be was incredibly difficult and incredibly annoying. Now you can max out like all the stats, EVs, IVs, everything. Okay, it's... Ooh. Ooh. That one almost got me. Okay, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, there is, uh, the, missing, the other Tetsugi. I have not found it. I'm making, I like, the zero progress. was on the big island, one of the sides. No, I haven't even found the second one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I figured there'd probably be a third one, because there's three of them, you know? It's just, I haven't found the second. Hmm. We, we found the first one. I got that knocked out pretty well. It is apparently... Uh, it's apparently not on the island itself, but like right next to it. If you look, if your oh, map is set to north, it's gonna be right above the big island. Right above the big island? Uh, yeah. Like, um, like as in the middle. Okay, so the big, like where the big island is right now, where I am, it's just north of it. Uh, like, uh, if you would have your map set to, like, point towards north, that up is north. Okay. Uh, so, currently, it would be to the right of the big island. Like, on your... Okay, okay so map. I'm on the tiny yeah. island here. Where we found the first one. It's pointing north, so... Are we talking about this island, the really big one? No, uh, the big one that you were at earlier, but it's on the the flat side. Okay, so it's on the flat side. Okay. Like it kind of angles in a way. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I get what you mean. So I had west a bit and then I look for it on the north side. I think I see it actually. I think hmm. I see something rendered right there. Like a bit late, like five, six seconds late, but either it's that side you're swimming to yeah, now yeah, or okay. it's on the other side. There it is. It's a, a very big stupid looking fit. No, wait. No, that's a tiny small one. Interact with it. Maybe it is the right one. Yeah, probably knowing my luck, it probably is the right one. <laughs> Cause we've encountered some dumb stuff today. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm a fish. He he ran inside the cave. Rose, did you Hell find the yeah. Titan? 
So that's it. Sure is one big uh dragon. Wait, wait, is that even a dragon or is it a fish? Huh. It's a fish. The little sushi got eaten up by the titan. He shouldn't expect oh, to see the food chain in action today. <laughs> I'm a fish, get in my belly. The food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. There is actually a pretty interesting thing here with this Pokemon. If you give the sushi uh, a flame orb to hold on to, you can knock it out while it's inside the mouth and this way Dundonzo still retains the full uh, power up uh, But you can have a second Pokemon on the field in double battles Now you know a cheesy secret Well it'll last for that one uh, battle uh, While he's out yes Oh so, like, if you're doing competitive battling and stuff, that's a good secret to hold on to. <laughs> I didn't come here to beat you. I came here to cheese. <laughs> Basically. My excuse every time I cheat when I'm playing online. Well, I'm making your life easier, aren't I? <laughs> I'm a fish. I'm a sad fish. Look at me. I go bye bye. We did it, Rose! Hooray! Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is the Herba Mystica. You think he's probably eating? Probably. Little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Titan, wait. Does this thing want to fight too? <laughs> <laughs> the sushi! The sushi wants to fight! Sushi used water, water splash. <laughs> the food chain in reverse. <laughs> you feasted on me, now I will feast on you, human sashimi. Oh no, my Torterra fell for the taunt. Okay. Water type. <laughs> How dare you, now I'm gonna punch you even harder. Oh no, he made Greedon purposely get stuck using Tail Whip to lower its defenses. Good on ya, buddy. Good on ya. <laughs> High five. Big brain move. Enemy AI has the same competency as a toddler. Pokemon never change. Hmm. You mean my giant slow as molasses tree got slower? Oh no. It has like a sliver, a sliver of health. Like this itty bitty tiny piece of health. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My, my tree is very happy. Look at this happy tree. Look at it. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's... Who, who is a good tree? You're a good tree. 
few nice job bros that's all my hard working little bud maybe the titan was both deals pokemon together it looks like some kind of combo deal the little one came out of here which means there should be some herb mystic inside let's go i thought you said there was gonna be a third one i thought that was I'm sure there's some here too. We came for sandwiches. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. I spy Herba Mystica. I spy, I spy with my little eye. You and Ivan have found the spicy Herba Mystica. You'll be shitting all fire for a week. Another successful search, we're on a roll. Now let's see, oh, what does the book have to say? So it seems the spicy herba mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives your circulation a boost that helps flush out all the toxins along with a ton of sweat. That'll definitely help my boss to feel even better. Come on, Rose, let's get some food going! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another favorite old oven sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not consider it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. There we go. He set the sandwich on fire. Nice. <laughs> Actually, I made burgers like that once. They were the nice. best burgers I've ever made. <laughs> and it was like 15 minute burgers. It was the fastest I've ever made burgers because a friend of mine came over to help me build my PC a few years ago or like rebuild it with the new parts. Mm. And we didn't think about the time. It was like, oh fuck, it's 15 minutes until you have to go. All right, give me a second. And uh, I was like, oh. yeah. Figure this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brute of yours. Because he's stealing my sandwiches all the time anyways. Wow. You want to give a sandwich to Kryden? I'll share. Come on out, my boss stiff. You get some too, bud. Look at that. It's a doggo. I love the doggo. He needs love. It has meat. That's it. Small bites, small bites. Yum. Karadin will now be able to climb up vertical surfaces now. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it down, oh, right down, would you? Wow. This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, for uh forgot Rose, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find him, right? Looks like the book says if not, uh it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. That does mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever. It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food. Oh, uh, you're done with your sandwich, my boss stiff? Rough! It said rough, Raxer! It said rough! Oh my god, it must have a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that right, Rose? My boss stiff just woofed, right? Yes! Right, I'm not imagining things. Rough! See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my boss Diff, who's my best bud, huh? Who's the bestest of the boys you are, you, you are? 
Sniff. It's been so long since I heard that wolf. It's actually a pretty good wolf, not gonna lie. My boss sniff is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Rawr. Wolf. I'm gonna stick it in instead. Aw. I want to give the giant pupper a kiss. I, I, I have to. He, he calls to me. We have to give the pupper some love. Oh, phone's going off now. What's this? Hello, Rose. This is Seda. I detect Coriadin's regained some more of its original power. It should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding upon it. If you press B, uh, if you press the B button to jump while facing a wall, Coriadin will grab onto it, allowing you to climb up vertical surfaces. You can move in any direction you like while climbing by using the left stick to let go of a wall, press the B button once more. Please continue to take good care of Coriadin. Okay, so now Coriadin can do climby things. Dwing. Oh, he, he lizard climbs. You see this? He, he lizard yeah. climbs. Look at that chunky boodoo. <laughs> the chunky boy. <laughs> now we can finally get up here and get more, uh, more TMs and shit. Hey. Dragon Claw. All right, where else can we go and grab more shit? Does it let me do it from the water also? I think so. Oh, we're about to find out. Yep. We can climb up directly from the water. Heck yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like we can we can go quite a way uh to quite a few areas we've missed and get uh, all this stuff. Oh, Jolly Mint. That's actually useful. That can turn any Pokemon's nature to the all uh, jolly nature. Ah crap, here we go. So if we find a Pokemon that benefits from a jolly nature, we can just make it jolly. A Jolly Rancher. Basically, yeah. <laughs> if there's a Pokemon called Rancher, we can name him Jolly Rancher and make him Jolly. <laughs> see, I need. Walked in for losers. I knocked it out, Raxer. Oh my god, it's, out. Like, it's like going at like 10 frames a second every time I do that. Wait, Volusa fillets? I knew it. I'm fucking killing the Pokemon now. Like, if I knock out a Slowpoke, do I get its tail? Hmm. I need to know. I, I need to know these things. That's the kind of Pokemon game you have installed. You might need to go to one of those. No, nope, no. Nope. We're, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. Razor Leaf this. We're gonna find out if uh, if I'm getting some Slowpoke tails, because it's a delicacy. Slowpoke claws. Okay, so we are like cutting pieces of them off. Ah, just what you want to hear from a uh, kid game. Yep. <laughs> Nintendo's finally embraced its uh, embraced the dark secret. We're killing Pokemon. Shh, don't tell Peter they were right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. All right, so we, we've gotten one trainer in this area. I don't think we have gotten the others. I don't know where the others are either. Going up, boingy, boingy. Lizard climb, gecko mode. 
Oh, hey. TM. U-turn. Actually a really great move, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm wondering what moves I've actually missed. Oh, that I can now go back and get. Like that one thing in the first area that I couldn't climb up. You remember that? Like that one single pillar. Mm, I don't think I was in the stream at that point. Okay, in the very first area, there's a whole bunch of like uh, pillars, okay? And mm -hmm. I kept trying to jump on top of it. Okay, yeah, it was Sindre who was all watching that day. And I kept trying to land on top of it and I couldn't. And I was like trying to get the one item from the top. It wasn't even like a TM or anything. I just really wanted to get it. But I couldn't. <laughs> I and I eventually, it. yeah, I was like, I need this, give it to me. <laughs> okay, this is a level one deerling. And so far it's my Torterra, a, uh, an Ursa Luna, a Vizleon, and a Croc. This thing's gonna get wrecked. And not a nice way either. We're just gonna like dominate the little deer. Yes, that's exactly what we want to hear. <laughs> Poor deer. Never saw it coming. I'm if just we de uh, dominate uh, that deer. If, if I defeat it, do I get venison now? Oh yeah, like everybody broke out their heavy hitters for this one little deer. Not me, what have I done? <laughs> I win, I struck first. <laughs> first come, first serve, losers. Nope, it got, oh, I got pearls from it. Good, good. I got pearls. I have pearls by beating up a deer. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but hey! Oh! I'm right here! Okay. I know exactly where I am. I'm underneath the mountain where that Garchomp was. It looks like the Garchomp is still there. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I'm gonna go get my butt them. kicked by a dragon. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Yep, there he is, still right there. It is a water type. I bet it's like level 70. Oh, no, I was close, 65. I'm not gonna live, but you know, I'm still gonna give it the old college try. I mean, I could chuck a master ball at it. It surprisingly did way better than I thought it would. Uh, he's probably gonna knock me out now. Oh no, holy crap. Am I gonna knock it out? Torterra, aw, uh, endure it so I wouldn't feel sad. You see that? He cares, Raxer. He cares for me. He cares. For yeah, he, he cares just enough for me to be able to throw an Ultra Ball, knowing I probably won't catch it. Yeah, no. I could use a Master Ball.
I guess I could probably use Palmy and try to weaken it some more. Well, Palmot. Because the thing is like 20 levels higher than me. Or you can just bomb your Pokemon with uh, HP potions. That's what I usually do. There we go. He will not get any weaker than this. And then we'll toss out Frieza only because Frieza has like heavy defense and should be able to survive guard chomp for a while while I try to catch it. Because I really don't want to use a master ball from the trades and stuff because I feel like that would be cheating. <laughs> Use it on catching a ratata. I would. I would catch like a, a ratata. <laughs> oh crap! Now it's going. <laughs> Garchomp became confused. Great. Now I have to worry about it knocking itself out. Just my luck. <laughs> Oh, and I brought out nine tails with snow. <laughs> of course, I did something stupid. Yeah, it's gonna get knocked out this turn. Either by itself or by my snow. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, weird. nuts will he knock himself out no no he didn't but it doesn't work on nine tails because it's a fairy <laughs> what you can do now nothing because you're missing <laughs> <laughs> don't you believe in fairies like garchomp in the kitchen I better go make Nine Tails a uh, a sandwich <laughs> before it makes me my bit. <laughs> I got two Pokemon left. You think I'll get it? Yeah. Wait, aren't you using HP potions in between? No. Because this thing can one-tap everything, so it doesn't matter. You are not believing in the heart of the cards. Oh no, wait, that was Yu-Gi-Oh, my bad. <laughs> I am not <laughs> believing in the heart of the Pokeballs. I must believe. I believe. It is believe it's a belief the with balls. the... <laughs> <laughs> the heart of the balls. So uh, you said it one taps and two taps. You could have revived the Yeah, I, I could I could have revived Jump Zone, yeah. <laughs> now use that to revive another Pokemon, preferably maximum, and then use the next one to revive the next one, and then you can start using Pokeballs again. Alright, well, let's try a timer ball. Because it's been several turns in battle now. Nope. Uh, it's closer. <laughs> My Corviknight over oh. here with the leftovers. Om um, nom 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 nom. It doesn't super... Uh, does a critical or something. You can survive another turn. Then you can start doing revive roulette. I'm not stressing that. Uh-oh, the ball's getting more, uh, more excited. Okay, maybe oh. I should just uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I should revive a fairy. I can revive nine tails before it makes me its bitch. <laughs> I got six max revives, you know. I mean, you do faint once all of your Pokemon are gone, right? Yeah. You're in the middle of a 
dark cave with only that Pokemon next to you. Uh, you don't know what it's gonna do. There we go. I just like Garchomp. I know I have my Pokedex, uh, Pokedex all completed and stuff, you know? I just... Mm. I just want to see if I can catch one in case I need it later in the game. All right, timer ball, let's go. There we go, we got our chump. Easy peasy. Nine tails leveled up. Uh, it is said that when one runs at high speed, it swings create blades of wind that can fell nearby trees. And we have a water one. So it actually really just well for its weakness. I got 12 gibble scales. Gobble gobble. Yes. <laughs> oh, robot. God damn it. All right, I think we should probably head up on the hill then heal finally. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can actually just climb up on the hill now and go get the uh, the TM we missed earlier. It's time for the TM. Let me up. Trying there to play video at the same time as paying attention to your stream and so far I have managed to relog to a different character for this entire time. <laughs> nice, I think. Well, I was supposed to study, but then uh, you sent me a message. Or, I well, the boss sent me a message, and then you answered <laughs> yeah, me. I was on about to say, like, yeah, the, the, I mean... <laughs> yeah, the bot sent you a message. <laughs> Couldn't be rude now, could I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bullet seed. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we're actually very close to the LA town. No problem. All right, great ball. Let's see what else we got up here. Wiki Berry. Comet Shard. Ultra Ball in case, you know, we have to get more. Oh, fuck off, Lizard. No, go away. I'm trying to collect items. Go away. Shoot. Oh, I finally remembered uh, the move set I wanted for Ninetales. Uh, with snow out, uh, it increases Blizzard to 100% hit ratio. So it has like this great ice, uh, like it's great little ice sweeping moves. Eh, you generally don't like those, uh, what's it called? Like overpowered natural moves. attacks. No, natural attacks. We're like, okay, every turn there's a blizzard storm or there's a. Yep. Well, yeah. Essentially, stuff that could attack my other Pokemon if I were to switch them out. Hmm. I actually had a thing for that too. I was going to teach um, Ninetales Aura Veil. So mm. all my Pokemon are unaffected by uh, certain damage types for like whole five turns. And what I was going to do last is I was also going to teach um, Frieza Weather Ball. So it has an ice attack, which it normally does not have. Just to mess mm. with everybody. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Electro Ball. Was... No, I want Thunder Punch. Where's my Thunder Punch, damn it? There's actually a kid I knew a few years ago who had like one of the most boring Pokemon ever. Mm -hmm. And he just used TMs to teach it a bunch of random attack abilities. Like, I don't know if it was a normal type or whatever it was. But he teached it an electric attack, fire attack, and a rock attack and a uh, dragon attack or something and when they then fought other people online they were like oh uh, you can't do anything against me your your pokemon is useless against me then suddenly he whips out a lightning attack like why the fuck do your pokemon know lightning attacks 
then it switches out and fuck my button. Oh, whatever. It's just a lightning attack. Doesn't matter. Then suddenly it comes with the fire attack. Like, what? what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Giga Drain. Cool. Didn't know that was the TM now. Yeah, uh, there's, there's several things people don't actually know about all uh, Pokemon attacks. If the Pokemon shares a type with a Pokemon, like, like if its move shares a type with a Pokemon, you get what's called the stab bonus. Mm. Basically, uh, that move will get much stronger if the type matches. So like, hey Night Swing. So, like, let's say I have a fire type. If I teach it fire blast, all the fire blasts will actually get stronger and cause more damage than a regular all uh, fire blast. And like, let's say uh, a dragon type that can learn it. Hmm. Can I offer you uh, two trade options? Uh, you can offer me some trade options. What's up? What do you need? Like, I'm not gonna trade my anybody in my current team though. But, like, if you need the guard chomp or something, uh, I will be more than happy to give you the guard chomp. <laughs> just catch it, level 65. No, no, just take it, just take it. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I already have guard chomp. I have <laughs> every Pokemon. My dex is complete. It just, I'm not transferring it all until I'm done with the main game. Mm. I even have a shiny female uh, salad it that I'm not getting rid of. Yeah, that I know about. No, we we caught a male on stream. Um, I actually had the female one. I mm. just yeah, it's just sitting in my uh Pokemon home. Hmm. Uh, Okay, so he can do anything with the water. I can probably go back to the first area and get some stuff I missed, which honestly I might do. I, I genuinely might just go do that. I'm gonna kill my Pokemon though. Nine tails being knocked out. Oh, everything being knocked out, but nine tails is kind of a pain. No, because then no one gets XP. I know exactly. how you feel. <laughs> I trade you a card adding or a shiny Lucario Rhino. Or a shiny Swab Blue Uber or Uh I don't have any of those. I don't uh I do not have a shiny Rhylo, Swab Blue Uber, Save Liar Gun. Or can I have the guard jump? Yeah, you can have the guard jump. I don't mind. Pokemon Portal. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Link but now, trade. since you have something he wants, you can take whatever <laughs> you want. Okay, so he offered you a Coridon, a shiny Lucario. Shiny, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the code is 54280953. I'll leave it on uh, the stream for a moment there. I'll, you know, I'll even type in chat because I'm feeling nice. This is a shiny swablu if you care for that, he says. Potato. potato 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 <laughs> tomato tomato Russ if you start playing black desert again I'm gonna babysit you all the way up to level 61 if you want no I actually and two have... billion is easy no no like it really is uh I it takes me two hours to power level from level one to 61. Mm. Two hours, that, that's my record. 
Like when Dark Knight came out, I actually just straight up all oh, power rushed it. They had an XP bonus event going on. If you can, could do it that fast back then, you can do it even faster now. Because uh, before, or I don't know when the update came, but I started playing again recently and it was a one and a half year break. And I pretty much doubled my leveling speed without doing anything special. special. Like, I always ended up fighting everything that was two or three levels above me. Mm. And uh, then I just, I ran through um, everything like I was going to do. It, it like, I, I th I'm trying to remember where I went exactly. Uh, I know the, I know it in my head, but I can't think of the names. It's like the swamp area for like level 20 to 30. Then I ran over to the start of the desert for like level 30 to 40. And then I ran over to a whole nother area. Yeah, Which, went to you're fine, Nightwing. Uh, you're fine, Nightwing. But Sheems probably. Yeah, and uh, once I like with the XP bonus and the cosmetic bonuses, um, I was raking in, um, uh, just raking in experience. Hmm. It was actually really, really fun. Exactly. So time to get back into it. <laughs> hard pass. Hard, God hard pass. I, I am not getting back into BDO. What I would do then is I would just wait and I would. Uh, because you know how you get like the family, uh, the, fa the, the family thing with uh, your family silver fam every day? The daily silver, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would wait for months. And then I just log back in. Oh, okay. Time to get this plus twelve weapon from the uh, the auction house. <laughs> it's a way of playing, and they increase the stockpile you can do now. Now you can stockpile a billion before you have to log back in again. So that that's actually what I was doing, and I had so much <laughs> saved up. Oh, uh, because I would only log in like once a month, and I had like nine characters, you know, all level sixty-five. Mm. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, this is easy, <laughs> you know, A plus <laughs> strategy. Because I didn't really play it that much. It was beautiful to look at. It was pretty straightforward in its mechanics. Uh, but I, I just kind of stopped caring, you know what I mean? But that's the perfect thing. It's it's if like Destiny 2. Stuff, it's, it, yeah, it's like Destiny 2 right now. I am burnt out on Destiny 2. Like, mm. I have to log in by the end of uh, next week to, like, redeem a whole bunch of rewards, but that's it. I, I'm genuinely just burnt out on MMOs. It's why I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> mm. Thank you for the Rodham. So, what's the same for me as well? Rodham. The main reason to why I stopped playing uh, one and a half years ago. But then I was like, oh, there's nothing else to get. And don't worry uh, about it, Night Swing. else to play. So uh, I came back to it and realized how many changes they did. I was like, before I knew about the changes, I was like, yeah, I would never recommend Black Desert to anyone ever again. But then now it's like, eh. Like it has it's me, like, ins yeah. <laughs> it has me inspired for like what I want to do. But mm -hmm. all with game designs, but that's really about it. It's like it's a nice place to draw inspiration from. Mm. This is a nice little rodum. I no, can definitely can, can, say they aren't the best can, when it comes to like what an MMORPG actually is supposed to be. Like, sure, it is massive online multiplayer, but no one really wants to play together. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, nobody really wants to play. Mm. Uh, okay, you know what? We can go get the other... Is that a Jigglypuff just hanging out here? Oh, it's a, it's a wild Jigglypuff! I thought he was in the town! <laughs> I thought it's Jigglypuff was just, like, wandering through town here. No, no, it's actually, like, a ra uh, random Jigglypuff. Okay. <laughs> Alright, then, like you know. Trying to find this ne uh, next uh, sacrifice for the song. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, right. Toad's cruel. Uh, deer sterling, whatever. I seen a Sudaruda one run today, and that boggled my mind. I did not think he could run that fast. He just ran through here. He's like, bye, boom. Okay, a quiet mint. Not bad. Not bad. Agility. I don't think I have anybody with agility. And I didn't. I don't think that was on my list of all things I wanted to teach. I hope, uh, by the way, Nightwing, I hope the guard chomp, uh, serves you well. It, like, it really doesn't bother me if I get something somebody wants and they need it. it does not bother me at all. I, I really don't mind helping, so if you need something too, uh, Raxer, let me know. I need money. I want money. <laughs> I, I think we all need that at this point. <laughs> To be fair, if I had $10,000, I could hire the people I need to execute my evil plan, and then we'd be swimming in cash. Problem is, is that... all of us are broke. That's a bit low. And uh, you don't have a lot of time to help me with all the evil plans. Uh, yes, who's that? evil scientist Ark has to wait. Yeah, we gotta wait. Like, I gotta get my degree, and you gotta get your degree. What do we have here? A dragon-type Igglypuff. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> A dragon-type... I, I will catch this one. Should I wonder credit? Maybe. Wait, what? what? Right, I think I will catch the Iggly buff and then we'll probably call it today and then I'll be back Wednesday Because I'm getting my face drilled out um On Tuesday It's going to be Wednesday my dudes I have a Ooh, hectic where? week. I still got to do some classwork today, too. I Got my pa I got my papers written. I'm not sure how the teacher's gonna like it though Hmm because the paper was about um, entrepreneurship and how I felt about it and all these stuff. And I was like, I hate them. Let me outline why. <laughs> because I mean, like, it's your like, point of view, so... Like, the whole thing is, uh, can you run a business? Can you do this? Are you an entrepreneur? It's like... Oh, why are entrepreneurs are so great? And I'm like, yeah, I can do all of this. But here's the thing. You're teaching me something that has little to no relevance because I have no money. How about you teach me how to get money? <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. Have you heard about OF? <laughs> Uh, like they I do teach. Myself from the whole thing. They actually do teach you how to get money in the final lesson in seven weeks. That's like I, I know everything for that they want to teach. I just don't know that. <laughs> and it's infuriating. <laughs> But they gotta keep their secrets, you know, because if they share their secrets, that's not... If they share how they make money, they won't be able to make money that way anymore. Like, I... Just to prove a point, uh, in my very first lesson, I sent my teacher... Uh, because, like, they... The teacher one is, like, a one-on-one -on -one paper, so they can gauge where you are. I was like, here's a business plan I wrote seven years ago to show you that I know exactly what I'm talking about and how I uh, know how to do everything. Mm. Uh, it's like it was one of the projects that ended up being abandoned because you know same issue. We always have No money mm. So I'm dying to see what she says when she reads it <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, here's a paper from my class. Oh, here's my paper from my. Oh 
Holy crap. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm expecting. Mm. Like my teacher from my marketing course, uh, I was right on literally everything I talked about, but because I made him offended uh, by talking about it and calling him out when he's wrong, he got very upset. And so he tried to oh, give me a failing course. grade and it didn't work out well for him. Did he fail instead? Uh, I got the Dean of Admissions uh, to look at him and then his opinion changed on everything. <laughs> like, like, I am an asshole. And that's what people keep forgetting. If I'm wrong, I don't mind being wrong. You know, it's a learning thing. You can learn from failure. But if I'm hmm. right and I know I'm right, and you tried to discredit me for being right, you will see how much of an a-hole I can really be. <laughs> anyway, I, I think this is great. I think this is a great place to end off on. So thank you everybody for coming. Uh, all the lurkers on Twitch, I see you there. Raxer sees you. Uh, nice thing, I hope you enjoy the guard chomp. Uh, how many people we got on YouTube lurking still? None, you, me? Bob from accounting? According to my YouTube, it says the only one watching is you. I'm not even watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody else on Twitch that are lurking, thanks for coming. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye!